boy howdy are you guys in for a treat so this is actually the product that spawned the whole idea of these uh ccrs these chinese <clears throat> reviews so i've been holding on to this one and just waiting for the time when i thought i could do this thing justice this is actually going to be the worst power supply in the world but first let me give you a little bit of a backstory and here comes simon with the front story yeah come on keep going keep going buddy come on Watch out, beat it. Yes. Anyway, so here's a little bit of a backstory. So, as you can tell by my channel, I, I build weird things and things that I need, actually, often. And in time, I needed some very special lights. They had to be extremely high quality, very compact, put out a ton of light. So nothing like that really existed, not with uh, any degree of reliability. So of course I had to build one. So this is what I built them into. These were MR16 fixtures that you know I retrofitted with uh, copper CPU uh, coolers. There's a current limited dimming supply down there. Uh, that's also a, a boost converter and you know whatever. So the point is and, and UG chips. So these are very very high quality. <laughs> they've 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 been awesome. I've used them on some high end stuff used them you know just as quick lights they travel well they're a little bit heavy for what they are but you know i mean i don't know if you can make out that label but i'm even recording uh how the light lasts and what the fall off is you know in fact february 14th i measured 2400 uh lux coming out of this thing one yard from the lens anyway so these also are designed to run off of 12 volts so you could run them off a cigarette lighter in a car well that means that if they're 50 watt chips and, you know, a little bit of loss, whatever, uh, you know, five amps out of 12 volts should be more than enough. Now, knowing that Chinese stuff tends to be kind of, let's just say, optimistically rated, I decided, well, you know, if I get 10 amp supplies, that'd be perfect for these. So I ordered some. And what came from eBay, um, which, you know, took a while to get here, is there were two different ones. One was okay, and then one sort of, <laughs> crapped out after a couple months of use this is the one now i've already opened this thing like i said actually this has been sitting in a box just waiting for its moment to shine and this is it so i could show you when i popped this thing open it was just out of morbid curiosity i just wanted to see you know why would this thing fail i mean it's rated 10 amps that means you know i think you can see on the bottom here it's upside down but yes it says 12 volts 10 amps um why not let's pop it open let's see let's see what failed because the other one the shape was a little bit different of the supply and that one's still chugging away just fine i opened this thing up i've already pre-opened it up because it's one of these snap shut boxes it's not fun to watch somebody wrestle and potentially eviscerate themselves with a screwdriver so i it's it's pre-opened for your enjoyment so let's take a look at the worst power supply in the world just let this sink in a little bit I didn't get this wet. See this corrosion on this uh, this copper shielding? Yeah, no, they like dredged that up from the Titanic or something. I, this has been like at the bottom of Loch Ness for millennia. And then it gets so much better. First of all, if you notice, this, this case has a little thing for an LED here, a little lens for an LED. And there is kind of an LED kind of hanging out here. But wait, there's also an LED in there. Let's start taking this thing. Let's let's look a little bit more in depth because there's another joyous surprise on this side too. So of course it has a standard uh, you know three prong computer power connector, and then if you look right behind that computer power connector is what another computer power connector. They just literally bodged this thing on. But take a look at what that looks like. Where did this come from? Did this come from the bottom of some lost cavern? Was this an Indiana Jones fight? I, I don't understand what this is. I mean, obviously, you know, I mean, look at the inside of the case. It's, it's fine. It looks kind of, it looks basically new. Same with this. But this, this thing, this, it, it's like straight out of Brazil. I mean, the movie, the Terry Gilliam movie. It, it's just weird. Where did this come from? So they cribbed this out of something. And, you know, I don't know what happened here. Was this, was this nibbled? by whoever recycled this thing from you know i mean there, there may be vacuum tubes inside here it's very i mean look it, it's even dented and beat up in this corner here it's this thing is unbelievable a wire just kind of 
snipped off. So this was obviously, I mean, this thing, look, <laughs> I, I don't know how old this thing is. Um, you know, I haven't gone any further than this. Shall we? Shall we go further into the worst power supply in the world? Yeah, let's do it. Let's see. See what destructive tools I can find nearby here. All right, I've got a bunch of these guys. So let's, uh, wow, I mean, is this tape like really this old? Does this just come off? Am I violating some sort of historical convention by doing, I mean, oh, oh wow, look at that. <laughs> That's copper corrosion off the foil. That's just, I, that's that's a crime against humanity is what that is that's insane all right well let's see maybe we'll you know i'm not doing an autopsy on this thing you're out of your oh check this what are they serious so this this is literally just like a shielding circuit board but then it's like half chewed off here and obviously they had to have done this because they needed, you know, to access these uh, these two solder pads so they could bodge this thing onto it. This is this. What's what's it? Oh wow, that's actually solder. What is it? I assume it's soldered to the ground plane. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, I mean, you know, surface mount. Oh, well. I don't know if that's a failure, honestly. I can't tell from here, and I don't have my reading glasses or magnifying glass. I'm probably going to edit that line out because it makes me feel old. But, oh my God, this is... All right, so now we have... Uh... Yeah, the inductors look fine. There's some protective capacitors look, look at the rust the sheer rust on this I mean, that's that's insane let me see do I have a screwdriver that's gonna work on this here probably not that's a little too fine hold on oh here we go a USA made Stanley <laughs> and I'm actually old enough to have bought this one myself. Wow. That is insane. That is ancient. Well, I don't know if you guys can make it out, but these three capacitors are no good. They have... This one's vented. This one looks like it vented. This one is bulged. It hasn't vented yet. That This one seems okay. Chances are, oh, and, and even further down here, there's a bunch of, you know, you can see these cables just kind of rudely snipped. There's a bridge rectifier, capacitor, transformer. Um, you know, your basic switch mode power supply. It is though. It's 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 so fascinating just to see like the, the the patina. Does power supply patina count for anything like it does on a hot rod? I mean, if anything, this connector is is. I mean, that's that's an archaeological find. Wow. Like I knew this was in here, and I'm still kind of blown away by just how horrible this thing is. It's it's. It's it's amazing. Like, where did they find this? Is there, is there just like a giant mountain of crap somewhere that they pull supplies out of and repurpose them and stick them in these cases? I mean, that's that's wow, wow. <laughs> and the copper corrosion, great. Yeah. So there you have it. Worst power supply in the world. Subscribe.